let's do some weekend writing. It's time to have a think about what you did on the weekend. Hmm. Get your idea in your head. Did you play in the backyard? Did you go to the shops? Did you do something special? Was it somebody's birthday on the weekend? Once you've come up with your idea, it's time to draw a picture of your weekend. So I'm going to draw a picture of going to the shop. After you've done your picture, it's time to think about what you would like to say. So you need to think of your idea in your head and then you need to say your idea out loud. So you can say your idea to your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister, even your pet or one of your soft toys or teddy bears. Say your idea out loud in a sentence. For example, you might like to say, on the weekend, I played in the backyard with my sister. We had fun jumping on the trampoline. You might like to write, on the weekend, I played with my cars. I zoomed my cars down a racing track. The blue car won. My idea is writing about my shopping trip because my writing needs to match my picture. So I'm going to write, on the weekend, I went to the shop to buy some fruit. When I got home, I used the fruit to make a yummy drink. It's time to use your lines now. So get a nice sharp pencil and a piece of paper with some lines. And you might need a rubber in case you make a mistake. Start on the left hand side of your page and you're going to begin with something like on the weekend. You don't have to start like that. There are lots of different ways you could start. But I'm going to begin with on the weekend. I'm starting with a capital letter. Capital O. Oh, oh, on. That's right. It's an N. In between my word, I'm going to use a finger space. On. Now the. The is a sight word. If you don't remember how to write the word the, then you can have a look in your sight word book and copy it. I have a card here that says the, T-H-E. I can put it here and write the. Make sure I leave my finger space. T-H-E. My letters are sitting on the line. On the weekend, well that's a tricky one, I'm going to chunk it up. Week end. I'm going to write week first. W e k. So w is the first sound I can hear. That's a w. W e. Now that's going to be a digraph. E and e makes an e sound. So w e k. Could be c. Could be k. It is a k in this word. Week end. E end. I'm stretching it out. E end. E -d. Whoops, that went a bit wonky. On the weekend, leave another space, I went to the shop is what I'm writing. So, I, that's an easy one, just a tall stick, hat and shoes. I went. Now, do you think I can fit went here? I think I can squeeze it in. So, w -e -t, went. W -e -t, went. W -e -t, went. Good writers always check their work, so I'm going to go back and reread it. On the weekend, I went. Now, where do I go? Oh, sweep down. I went 
to, now to is a sight word, T-O, I'll leave a space, the, oh it's the again, I can copy it, T, H, E, I went to the shop, now sh is S and H together, sh, oh, that's right, O, Excellent, thanks for helping me, that's a P shop. On the weekend, I went to the shop. That's the end of one idea, so I'm going to put a full stop. Now I'm going to write my next idea, which is, I bought fruit and when I got home, I made a yummy smoothie. Oh, that's a long sentence. I bought fruit, I, now bought is a really tricky word. You can sound it out though. B. What's the last sound you can hear? Bought. T. That's right, it's a T. I bought, speak down, some. Now, some is a sight word as well. S O M E. It rhymes with come, which would be C O M E. I bought some fruit. Ooh, now, fruit ends with a t, t fruit. Can you hear it? It's a T. I bought some fruit, and when I got home, and is a sight word, a and. A and. And, leave a space. When, now when is also a sight word, you can look it up if you don't know how to write it, you can look it up and you can copy it. Find it in your sight word book. I bought some fruit and when, now I can fit I here can't I, I'll sneak it in and then sweep down I and when I got home, got, got, home, O. To make that O say its own name, I need to put an E on the end. O. And when I got home, I made a yummy drink. I. Space. Made. Another E on the end to make the A say his own own name. Mm. Aid. And when I got home, I made a. Uh. Easy, just one letter. Sight word, a. Uh. Sweep down. Yummy. Y. A. Uh. Mm. Now there's two M's together in yummy. And then because it's an E sound on the end of a word, yummy, it's a Y. Yummy. I made a yummy drink. D -r -i -n -k. D -r -i -n -k. You can help. R -i -i -k. Could be a C, could be a K. But in this word, it's actually a K. Now, good writers always check their work. On the weekend, I went to the shop. I bought some fruit, and when I got home, I made a yummy drink. Now, what am I missing from the end of my second sentence? That's right, full stop. So pop it here. That means I'm finished. Now, I need to check a few things before I'm all done. I need to check that I've started with an uppercase letter at the beginning of each of my sentences. Yes, I can give myself some ticks for my capital letter. And after this full stop, there's also a capital letter. Have I put full stops at the end of my sentences? On the weekend, I went to the shop. That's the end of one sentence. I bought some fruit and when I got home, I made a yummy drink. Full stop. Great. Now, I also need to check that I swept right down and started on the left-hand side of my page. Yes. Yes. 
yes and yes. If you sweep down to here, then you waste all of this space. So you need to remember when you sweep down, sweep right over to this side. And I've had a go at sounding out all my words. I've written all of my sight words correctly today. The, I, to, some, and when, I, I, ah, uh, all of those sight words. Remember, you can always find them in your sight word book to help you. And the last thing is spaces between my words. Look at this. I've got spaces between every single word. Give myself some more ticks. Now, you don't have to tick all of your work like this, but maybe somebody can check your work and they can check for all of these things. And that's all. Does my writing match my picture? Remember, I drew a picture of going to Coles to buy some bananas and I wrote about that in my story. Now it's your turn. Give your writing a go and remember, stretch out all of those words. You can use your choppers, use your sight words from your book and, of course, do your best, neatest work. Well done, guys. Happy writing.